charge! Robots underway, five of the six moving, and 41-31 will no doubt be along shortly. They are through to join their alliance partners. 41-31 lining up for a shot. No, looks like they won't fire, and it'll be 30-22 to 22 in favor of Red, as Swag cannot get across the outer works. Both high-scoring alliances here. We should see a lot of goals as Raid gets things started up in the high goal for Red. Error code zero falls in the low goal, and it's 37 to 27 in favor of Red, just like that. Swag finds the low goal for Blue as the Iron Patriots working their way through the low bar. Error code zero and Raid back into the blue courtyard with another boulder each. 14-25 finds the low goal, 44-69 looking high. They are good. And the Red Alliance is staking themselves to a large lead. It's 10 points right now. 37-86, the Chargers are back in the red courtyard to play a little bit of defense. Blue Alliance nearly done with their breach of the outer works. Red still some work to do. The Iron Patriots now head back to the blue courtyard to try to disrupt the scoring effort there. Swag gonna go up and over now, caught on the Cheval de Freeze. They're good. One more crossing for red, Blue and they will have the outer works breach. And 37-86 has tipped 40-60 on their back. You see a foul signal there, and there could be more to come after that. Still a minute to go, a two-point Red Alliance lead at this point. Tread is going to work on the drawbridge, and now 14-25 has put 41-31 on their backs. Tread up and over the drawbridge. That is a breach for the Blue Alliance. A high goal for Red. Courtesy of 44-69, and this match has taken a very strange turn. 40 seconds remaining, it's an 16-point Blue Alliance lead, but the Red Alliance not done with their breach just yet. 37-86, gonna get out of Dodge, head back towards the Blue Courtyard. Another high goal, courtesy of 44-69. 37-86 handles, finishing the breach for Blue Red over the Ramparts. Now it's 103-84 to in favor of Red as we hit 20 seconds remaining. 32-19, up and over the Cheval de Freeze. No more crossings to be had for the Blue Alliance. Red Alliance still has the drawbridge to work on, but they're not gonna bother. Error code zero is high. It's five seconds remain in this match. Three, two, one. Absolute carnage in finals match number one. Two robots up on their back. You saw fouls signaled by our referees for both of those incidents, and I suspect our men and women in stripes are gonna to wanna to have a little bit of a conversation. Sit tight. We'll let you know exactly what's gonna happen here at the end of finals match number one. Don't go anywhere.
Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please, your attention please. As you see, head referee Tom Saxton has issued two red cards to the Red Alliance in finals match number one. Both of these cards are issued for violations of rule G24, initiating deliberate or damaging contact to another robot, specifically tipping opposing robots and putting them out of commission. The second red card ends up being inconsequential, but as a result of either one, the Red Alliance is disqualified from this match and this match only. The Blue Alliance will be the victors of finals match number one. We will play finals match number two, at which point the Red Alliance will carry a yellow card, and any further yellow or red cards will result in a disqualification from that match. Once again, our number one alliance in red has been issued two red cards for tipping opposing robots and incapacitating them from the match. The number one alliance in red is disqualified from finals match number one, and the victor in finals match number one is the blue alliance. <laughs> Head referee Tom Saxton has asked me to clarify that it is specifically the deliberate act of tipping an opposing robot that results in the red card. It was the deliberate tipping of opposing robots that resulted in those red cards being issued. We will now take a six minute field timeout after which we will play finals match number 